Alrighty, let's watch this in full here. There is sound. Alright, alright, alright. Let me bring down the sound here. Actually, I think for now, I would... I'm not sure what is going on in terms of um, what came first. Like, did you animate this and then add the sound? Or was the sound already there and you animated to it? Um, I'm asking or I'm saying this just because right now some of these actions feel very slow and floaty. And things could be tightened up a little bit. A, in terms of just timing and also posing and direction. And I think if possible, I would ignore the sound for now. Uh, and if that means that you can't have the sound at all, you have to remix some, th some things, I think hopefully that should be okay. Big question here is... Glass. Cars. People. Um, I think this could be redone into something where it's maybe more visually told as this happens. Stuff comes into frame and realize there was something out there. I don't know, there's something maybe that can play with visually versus the sound um just because it gets a bit i mean i know it can be all cartoony and you know whatever stuff can happen but it's kind of like okay, she's somewhere on the planet that doesn't look like it's gonna have a storefront with people and and the car and uh stuff like that i don't know so it was like maybe let's not concentrate on the sound for now just as a, as a thought um there's also here if you listen to bring the sound back here all that feels kind of there's so much at the end here that feels like there needs to be stuff coming out and it should be landing differently i don't know like to me personally i would ignore the sound for now to really look at the body mechanics because right now if i go through there's a bit of a slow entrance bam, and then a really harsh sudden move almost like a little bit of a pop there right there that gets a bit swimmy and a bit over animated in terms of that foot comes up and then kind of hovers and sticks in the air, the really overpronounced toe, and then gets into a full extension before we completely hit the ground there. And then we start having a bit of a disconnect there in terms of how those shapes are pushed. Then it gets a bit swimmy in terms of timing here. Then as you go into, <gasps> what is that? The silhouette could be a bit better. This gets if you push seven in Maya and you stick out the set here and just have just the outline. It just, we don't quite know what that is. Even here, the upper arm gets kind of lost. And that's a bit of a harsh break in that wrist. I think some of these shapes could be softened. But also those, that reaction for her, she looks down and then A, we're losing the pupils a bit. It's a bit too far in the corners. And just kind of a... Almost pose to pose reaction of the face and body stopping into here. Where I would give this more of a... She can look a bit. And then, you know, she's actually still looking here. A couple darts maybe. And then she would have a facial reaction. And then the body goes back. Just kind of offset things just a bit more. But even this could be... Oh, what is that? And then she goes in. Right now it's up and then immediately goes forward. This It's a bit rushed through that moment. That starts to feel a bit funky there where this foot gets off the ground, but we're pushing this way, but it's off the ground. And at that speed, she will bam, she would fall over. So there's a bit of a weird balance issue there. Then as you go down here, it starts to feel like this whole thing is moving as one piece where I would offset these and break these up a bit more where, you know, that arm could drag for instance, she could be leading with that arm first and then going with the head. Like There's all kinds of different acting choices you can have there. I guess it's something that she's been looking for. Clearly, this looks like something that belongs to her. But I would look at, generally, again, I'm going through just all the visual things that I'm seeing. But you have to look at, she comes down, lands, and looks around. This feels more like, oh, what is that? Versus, is this something she's looking for? Was, I mean, is that a pouch? It's not a holster, but... Maybe she could land and look look around for it. And then she realizes, oh, I found it. I don't know, there's something that could be a bit more distinct and clear. Watch out, there seems to be a bit of a pop there in the constraints. 
Then we have a bit of a funky silhouette with the wrist turned towards us and the elbow bent away from us. So we don't quite understand the structure length of that arm until around here-ish, right? When it starts to have a nice bend. Then it gets very swimmy with weird rotations in here and everything just kind of moving some weird rotations in there. Again, it's not very focused. You can go into, haha, I got my gun back. Haha, watch out where we hold those poses. But right now it's a bit always moving back into a bit of a funky pose where all of that kind of mushes into one compared to, let me see, like that is cleaner. So that's a bit funky there. And again, there's constant moving of body parts. You got head turns where this feels a bit separate from the rest of the body. And I'm looking at mechanics. Like what is going on here where you have this leg is moving and sliding while this leg is moving and sliding, but it's not really a hop. So that's just kind of sliding around where the mechanics don't quite work. And if this foot gets off the ground, then it wouldn't be flat here. The toe would be lower. Um, it's mechanics wise, but also silhouette wise, it would help. Then it starts to feel a bit like she's really pointing this way, but then the knee's pointing this way, but then the pelvis is pointing this way, and then this is pointing this way. So it's not super clean in terms of posing. Again, we're not holding this. You got a lot of intersections through here. We're not holding that. It's a broken wrist. And then again, whole, it just it's constantly moving. You got this going on, this the elbow going down this way. And then this happens where she goes back. Watch out when you have movements that go straight away from camera. This makes it look a bit flat. And I think this could be a bit pushed more this way. It's just got that reaction. But then again, it's a bit swimmy in its timing. And then she shot all the way this way. But then apologizes almost straight towards us. The silhouette is a bit funky here. Got some tangents. I like the idea of putting it back like carefully. Uh-oh, this is a careful thing here. It's a bit wobbly there. It doesn't quite work in terms of the properties of a hard surface on the rock. And then we have very swimmy, swimmy timing there, holding this pose for a bit too long, where the silhouette again is a bit funky. And then that again feels a bit swimmy and unfocused there with those buttons. They're just kind of, they're just kind of moving around. Wah, wah, wah. And then that feels very slow where she wants to get out of there. Like, you know, let me just, you know, get out so no one sees that I did this. But then it's too slow. It should be like a, like a quick exit. But then she always brings her legs up a bit. It's a really big ease in. So that is that. So these are all the things for me mechanically that I feel like need a lot of work. Now, that being said, before you do all of this, my question to you, and we can, we can email back and forth. Like, what is it that you want to show off? I mean, to me, it seems like, okay, well, some pantomime. She grabs this, something goes wrong, and then she gets out of there. But I think we can make this just a bit cleaner in terms of where she's coming from, what she's looking for, her reactions, maybe a bit more personality-driven versus just that going, uh-oh, like something a bit more interesting in terms of, oh, I'm sorry, let me put this back. I don't know, but I, want to, I don't want to dictate things, so... I would love to have a bit of a discussion in terms of how we could push this a bit further in terms of acting choices and entertainment value and stuff like that. Alrighty. I think that was a lot at once. I'm going to leave it at that. Email me for questions. Uh, and that is that. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.